what's up guys um i'm probably the odd person out this format for bt7 i'm not on the hybrid train i'm still sticking to my guns playing jessmon because this is a jessmon deck profile because that's what's popping and that's what's cracking so without further ado let's get into it so i'm gonna start with the the, the babies first for demi marimon because like you unsuspend an attack and it doesn't have like the once per turn so it, you're gonna keep stacking and when you stack on with the omnimon with the savior huck you're gaining 3000 from this that's so much value then we got baby domon uh the reason we run five eggs in this deck is because um i try to make this deck as consistent as possibly or as humanly possible and having five eggs you can just drop a rookie and a digivolve and you don't necessarily lose because you're giving piercing and Jessmon's gonna be big anyways, so yeah, you're not really losing out. Some people will just run the Demi Marimon, I can understand why, but I just like this. Um, I'm I'm team five eggs, so that's what's up. I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I'm gonna do uh the rookies first. So first things first, four of the best searcher in the game. If you digivolve this, that means you're really desperate. You wanna hard play this as much as possible because it gets a lot of stuff. You get Sistermons, you get any Huckmon Evolution line, and I think you can get Jessmon from him as well. So, yeah, you can always get something. This is the best, like, rookie for that. Next, I play three of the new one, which is, um, which is the, this Huckmon. It's a bit expensive on the four end, but it's still zero cost to uh, Digivolve on, on level twos. But when you attack, you can search the top five, get a sis any Sistermon, and then, uh, yeah, any card with Sistermon, then put the bottom. This is a good, really good search card. I took out Beomon from this deck for the reason that, um, I think searching in some situations is a little bit better than drawing. And if you get this Huckmon, you can still search this Huckmon. So, yeah, you can get other Huckmons with this Huckmon. So, that's why I'm... I just say searching is a little bit better, so that's why I run triple of that. Um, the other rookies for the deck is really up to preference in my opinion, but I like to put Agumon, the extra thousand does go a long way. Also I have this one, so I want to play around with that, that's my flex piece. Well then again, there's a lot of expensive stuff in this deck. Uh, two Geomons, um, again, the ESS, when you kill something you draw and you can like, that's still really good. And uh, this also has the effect where I do run the Gallimon in the deck because I think, um, what do you call that? Uh, just Warp Digivolving is such a nice luxury to have. And if I have the opportunity, I would do so. So that's why I run the Double Geomon. For my champion, for red champions, it's really low. But I do have enough like consistency cards to hopefully get into all my pieces. I max out on the Bauhuckmon. Some people would only run three. I can understand why to leave either Monochromon or Agunimon in this deck. Um, but I put this so your Huckmon would whiff way less when you hard cast it. And then, um, four Greymons, uh, the, the starter deck one. Yes, I have the promo one. I want to complete the set, but this one's still pretty good too. Uh, just an extra security check. So like Jessmon can get really aggressive and start swinging super hard just so you can push the game really faster. And then, uh... For the ultimates, just gonna get straight into it. Uh, for Savior Huck, literally the card that's gonna get neutered in BT8. It but, deserves it. That's rude. Anyways, <laughs> uh, this card, uh, yeah, it's busted for that reason. You unsuspend and attack again, so you can even be swinging for four checks at once. And uh, on Digivolve, you get the value of hard casting a Sistermon for free. So that's also good too. That This card's super busted. And for the alternates, I just run one Rise Greymon and one Volkdramon. His ESS, when there's a Tamer, decreased by 2,000. This is just an extra security check. With the Greymon, it's uh, two checks at once, so that's really hard hitting. Plus, this one's really good because you can still set up your ties. But I just run it because it's shiny. This spot is pretty flexible. You can even do two Volkdramons, but I just want to show off my Alt Art Rise Greymon. And for the obvious, your win condition of the deck. For Jessmon. There's really um not much to talk. You just attack and just drop sister mons on the field. That's your main win condition. For my backup mega, just one gallant mon. It's really good because with the savior huck, you can gain like 
almost like yeah you gain 3,000 so you can gain 6,000 so this guy can go up to 17k and he can has an extra security check so that's really good uh, this time I'm only running one of the Blitz Omni because Jessmon can get so large and run over a lot of stuff. This is just an extra hit in the deck. So yeah, there's no really reason to run two because Jessmon is just that broken and can just be literally the best card in your deck, which it is. And now the big topic, the Sistermons. I run four Sistermon, um, Sistermon Blanc. This one's your best one, because first of all, when you hard cast her, that's a free draw. And um, when there's a Royal Knight, a Jessmon line, yeah, Huffmon or a Royal Knight, this becomes a blocker. So this is the blockers in deck. That's why I don't run Monochromon, because this can become a blocker. Because you just have to put any Huffmon line or any Royal Knight instantly become a blocker with a draw. Because, again, this is my build where I want it to be as consistent as possible. That's why I max out on this, because drawing is a form of, like, you know, fixing consistency. That's why I only run two Sistermon CLs. Yes, it's the alt art. I recently got it today at the time of this recording. Uh, this is still pretty good, too, because you it's technically a three cost. So you gain a memory when it's hard casted. Or through Jessmon, you get a free memory when it's hard casted. But the big one is, it gives Royal Knight and Huckmon lines an extra 2k, which that boost is really good. Oh uh, yeah, it's an alt art, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then for the Awakens, I just run the two, um, two, uh, Sistermon, Sistermon Blanc Awakened. Um, I'm not running the CL Awakened because the pop for it on a five cost, literally you just use Jessamon to run over anything you want. This is the better one in my opinion, because like, I thought that she didn't have when it dies, you get a Jessamon piece back to your hand but she also has that too so just all the more reasons just to run double plus the recovery plus one is really good because there are times where like i play against people i'll be almost dead especially against my brother i drop this and heal some memory um heal some security back so i'd be in a better position and i can just turn the game around much easier plus with another blanc in the field she still becomes a blocker so that's still pretty good yeah so like see here um all sister mon names gain blocker that includes her so and it's recovery plus one so you have more defense in your deck too which is i think one of the deck's weaknesses where it's super aggro to the point where you don't have much defense so this kind of fixes that and you get to play it out so there there's even games where i gain three mem uh three security at once for the tamers two ties uh memory tamer plus you have a full stack on Jessmon, you get the extra attack, so you're just closing games much faster. To analog you, this is just consistency. So if you do hit Sister Mons, they can stay in the trash bin and you can pull them out later with the Jessmon. Also, when they just obviously use like option cards or other Digimon to kill your Jessmon, you just memory choke them. And it's a two cost two, so it doesn't cost too much. Three, red memory boost. I like this version of memory boost better. Looks really, and you know, it's like eating spaghetti. Uh, Yokumon, there's doing some, you know, putting some ketchup on the almond rice. This is the, this is the, I want, I love these memory boosts. It's just consistency. Got a red card, obviously get Jessmon. And, uh, yeah, and you gain the two memories. So, uh, when you do play this and you're at your memory, uh, your opponent tries to choke you at one with a savior hug, you pull out the savior hug, crack this open, get a Jessmon on the field. So yeah, these, these things are always really good. I cut it to three just because I have the new Huckmon, which just adds consistency so you can pull your sister mons out. And yeah, I used to play it at four, but I think three's okay so you can have room for a lot of other stuff. You can also gain the memory to use your one cost option cards. That's true. Which is pretty wild. Yeah, I do that all, like all the time for obviously Judgment of the Blade and a Delicate Plan. Okay, this is always good. Like it will never go bad. But this is what um, you use for Jessmon, so you just beat anything. Like, you can just run over, like, literally anything you want. And plus, the security effect on this is, like, you can play a Sistermon from Hand or Trash. Which you can pull out the Awaken and start healing yourself, too. So it's like you almost never took the damage. So, yeah, this card, this is the main thing you want, just so you can, like, clear your opponent's board state and just, like, screw them over. So they're forced to use all the memory they have to rebuild again. That's why uh, this card's really balanced, it's really good. 
And uh, yeah, short and sweet. It's more or less an update on my streamlined build of Jessmon. Um, this is like, in my opinion, a very consistent build, but the drawback is you don't run Atomic Blaster, you don't run Terra Force, so you're really just putting everything on Jessmon to win, which it's not a far-fetched idea, it's a very common one. But again, Road to 100k, thank you again for watching this video, and uh, comment, like, and subscribe, thank you. Order. Raven, huh? We are his slain these demons, huh? I, I, I cut it once and I'm leaving. Still on my hip, don't make me unsheathed it, huh? Bitch, nigga, we are defeated. I put a hole in the square like a cheese it. Thunder, clap, clap, sleeping. These niggas born, they sweat and they beasting. What up, Raven? We are his slain these demons. I cut it once and I'm leaving. Still on my hip, don't make me unsheathed it.